Hey there guys, it's Ibaraki Ben here. So the next part I'm going to be talking about is your defences. Now I've covered this briefly, but uh, this time I'm going to be going a bit into a bit more detail. So you've got various different gun turret types. You've got the heavy machine gun, and I'm using two heavy lasers, one here and one here, and I've also got a rocket launcher. So uh, I've ad attached all of these to a spotlight. Now the spotlight will track your enemies. So uh, it kind of makes the settlers aim a bit better and respond a bit better if they can see what's happening, considering that most raids I've had happen at night. I've also set up this trap. So with the regards to the traps, uh, what you want to do is this is basically a laser tripwire. So in your settings, you're going to go over to your power and then you're going to go to connectors and switches. So these are basically near the end. So you've got a few options. You've got a pressure plate, which you can use for narrow corridors. And if somebody steps on it, it activates whatever it is it's linked to. You've then also got a large laser tripwire and a small laser tripwire. So you can set these up in doorways. Now with these, I've used the large one. And the large one is then connected directly to my Tesla arc. So I'm going to decide, so I've decided I'm going to upgrade slightly. So uh, if I go to defense and then traps, I'm going to maybe add in a flamethrower as well. So if I just put my flamethrower maybe here like this, maybe I will add another Tesla arc here. Move this one just over here. So that way I've got basically both grounds covered because the moment they the moment an enemy will step through this, the two Tesla arcs will activate and then as soon as they start walking through this thing's gonna burn them. Now with the traps, every time they're used you will have to repair them. So depending on what they are, they will use either copper, oil or any other kind of material depending on what they use. So when you activate these, uh, they're going to igni ignite almost immediately. So generally you want to set the cables up last for these. So once they're done, you just basically connect it up to your sensor. Now, if a settler walks through the sensor just after you've placed it, it will go off. So what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to actually uh, install a terminal so that you can set this thing up properly. So uh, the terminal will control everything so long as there's a cable. What you're going to do is you're going to set up your terminal to be on the same wiring source. So in my case, I've got mine over here. So this terminal is linked up to these, this pylon here and this pylon basically circles all the way around and then goes back over here. Now as long as it's connected at some point, it's okay. You, some, people have been, some people have been connecting their terminals directly next to their traps. You don't need to do this at all. You can just set your terminal up anywhere as long as the wires eventually meet it. So I'm going to show you the terminal very quickly switch control. Now this is going to be your pylon switches. So the switch control you can set them to basically on and off. So you can turn all on or turn all off. It kind of saves having to run around and keep doing them individually. But uh, I generally don't really switch anything off. You've then got your optical sensor control which is your tripwire. So you can set this to either disarm all arm all or set trigger target so once it's been used you have to arm again but when you set your trigger target it can activate on anything that passes through or hostiles only meaning raiders so any kind of raider or beast or anything that passes through it will activate if you set it to trigger on anything it's going to kill and attack your your own kind of settlers or companions or even yourself if you walk through it Next on here, we have got our turret controls. Now this will only apply to turrets that have a cable. So laser turrets, shotgun turrets, missile turrets. So 
in this case you've got a few options on here now the first one on there you've got is uh, about your defense you don't really need to use this because as you can see on here it doesn't really tell you anything useful it just tells you about the basics of how they're used and a warranty so this doesn't really apply to you at all it's, it's kind of useless you've got deactivate so you can switch them on and off and then you've got system diagnostics this will tell you information about your turrets so it takes a little while to load up depending on how many turrets are linked in my case I've got three two heavy lasers and a missile turret it also tells you the meterage that they are from uh, from you I don't know if that meterage is from your terminal or if it's the distance they can see I'm not sure but it also tells you the health being 100% and whether they need repairs or not because they do get damaged like everything else in your base if you actually have raiders come and attack it will give you the status if they're seeing anything so if there's any targets and finally the last one on there you've got is your spotlight control now much like the laser tripwire you can either target the admin user being yourself or you can target hostiles so in my case I've got it set to target hostiles so at night time it will target them making them easier to be seen uh, so that's the basics of using a terminal with your defenses uh, if you'd like to see more information about terminal with pylons and other electronical devices then please let me know in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next video Thanks to everyone for watching and supporting my channel. As always, please leave a like and comment as your feedback is greatly appreciated. And if you haven't already, subscribe now. Also, you may like to follow me on Twitter, like my Facebook page, add me as a friend, add me to your Google circles, follow me on Instagram, add me on Tumblr, join my group, subscribe to my Twitch account, reshare my Facebook posts, retweet all my tweets, like all my statuses and pictures coming from everything I've done and watch every single video I've made twice. Thank you.